What's going on guys? It is Michael back with another recipe video and what we're going to do today is make some healthy cookie dough. But before we get into that, I would like to thank the sponsor and that is the Runtastic Results app. If you've never heard of Runtastic Results, it's a cool app based around body weight training. It's such a misconception that you need a big fancy gym to get into shape. You can get in a good shape just by using your body. And this app is cool because you can take a fitness test to start and then everything else is customized to you. They have a 12 week workout program to get you into shape. I was really impressed with how in-depth the app was and the step-by-step -step instructions are very cool as well. So you can check out the app down below in the description or head over to their YouTube channel at youtube.com slash runtasticfitness. And like I said at the start of the video, what we're gonna do is make some healthy cookie dough using garbanzo beans as the base. Yes, that's right. And I've made a few recipes here on the channel using beans before and they always turn out great. So this is a recipe where you just, you can't knock it until you try it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so starting off this recipe, very few ingredients needed for it. What I have right here in this bowl is a 15 ounce can of some garbanzo beans, some chickpeas, whatever you wanna call them. I rinsed them out, drained them. We're gonna add those into a blender or a food processor. Next up is a half a cup of some peanut butter. And then one scoop of chocolate or vanilla whey protein. Today I'm using Salted caramel whey, it really doesn't matter what flavor that you use. This is the whey from my protein. I've been using that in a lot of the recipe videos lately. You can always check the discount down below in the description. And then we're gonna go with a little bit of vanilla extract. And then two tablespoons of sweetener. And the last ingredient before we blend this up is around two tablespoons or so of some almond milk, milk, water. Today I'm using cashew milk, it really doesn't matter. So once you've got those ingredients in your blender or food processor, it's good to go. And now that we have this blended up, go ahead and check out the consistency. Very thick, just like cookie dough. And this right here tastes great just by itself. But now what we're gonna do is go ahead and add this into a bowl. And after you've got that into the bowl, it's time to add in the chocolate chips. So today I'm using some dark chocolate chips and you can really add as many chocolate chips as you would like, whatever fits into your macros, of course. But today I'm gonna go ahead and add about four tablespoons. So here's where we're at at this point in the recipe. We're not done yet, but this is just a, a quick little look to show you guys. It does look and taste like a delicious cookie dough, but we're gonna put this in the freezer, probably leave it in there for 30 minutes to an hour and let it cool off a bit. All right, guys, and this is what the cookie dough looks like when you are done with it. I promise it will taste great, and it's very, very filling because think about how much is in this. It's condensed down. A whole can of beans, a half a cup of peanut butter, all condensed into a small amount. So you get quite a bit of servings out of this. It tastes really good, and I'm going to show you guys. It tastes good, and I'm not kidding you guys. Let's try it out. So now let's try it out just to show you guys this is not some late April Fool's joke. It really is good and it's crazy that this is made out of beans and just a few other ingredients. So if you guys like the video, give it a like down below. I appreciate that very much. Check my cookbook out right here or down below in the description and I will talk to you next time.